What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm going to talk about how to fix the disk code is stuck on updating loop and how we can fix this app. So let me directly get into this step. So the first one is all about, we just need to go over here, search for uh, the control panel. We have to search for the control panel and click on this one and navigate to system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow Napper feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, we need to make sure the disk code is added. So if the disk code is added, you have to make sure that you put a check on both the boxes, private and public. So right now, if the disk code is not here, I can add it. I'll be showing you how we can add it. So right click on this one. So let me remove the disk code from here. And what I'm going to do is if the disk code is not here, how we can add it. Just, so just close this, go back to the disk code on the desktop, right click on this one, go for the open file location. Just go over here, copy the location of the disk code, right click and copy. And we have to close this over here. Now go back to the control panel. Now click on allow another app and go for browse and remove this and we have to paste it. Now we need to get into the app, just select the disk code, go for open and we need to add it. Once the disk code is added, just click on, you have to put a check on both the boxes private and public. Now we need to close this and we need to move to the next step. Next step is all about, just go over here, search for the settings, click on the settings and right now navigate to the network and internet and right now if you find anything named a proxy, just make sure this is turned off. The proxy should be turned off and we need to close this and just go over here, search for the control panel and we have to click on this one and right now navigate to the network and internet go for network and sharing center and right now navigate to the change adapter settings right click on the wi-fi over here go to the properties now from here navigate to the internet protocol version tcp slash ipv4 good for the properties go for use the following dns server so right now it is 8 8 8 8 8 8 4 and 4 and now we need to go for ok and once it is successfully done just close this after the DNS is changed it, you have to check. Next one is all about, just go over here, search for the run command and you have to press enter. And the first and foremost step, what we need to type is, instead of the percentage local app data, just type percentage app data. Just get into this one, go over here, okay, and get into the folder named disk code. And right now you can see there is a folder named cache. So you can either delete it from here, so just go for the trash icon and delete it. Now once afterwards you have to go over here, search for the task manager and you have to click on this one. And right now we need to expand this up and search for the disk code or make sure if the disk code is running over here in the background. Select the disk code and go for end the task. Now we need to close this as well. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to go over here once again. Just go over here, search for the run command and you have to press enter. And this time go for the percentage app data. Just go for it once again and get into the folder disk code. And now we need to right click on the code cache and right click and go for the delete icon. I mean, once afterwards it is deleted, just go for GPU cache, right click and go for the trash icon. Once it is deleted, just close this and go back to the run command once again and you have to type it. Just you have to type what we need to type is we just need to type percentage local app data percentage and you have to press enter and press enter and right now we need to get into the folder named disk code now from here if you find anything called update repair.exe so just right click on this one go for show more options and re rename it so right now it is update repair.exe you can go for update repair 1.exe and rename it so while doing this make sure if the disk code is running in the background close it or remove it once afterward just close this and move to the next step so these are the steps and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. That's it. Bye-bye.